So I might have a little problem with um, drinking coffee. It's just so good. So naturally, I decided let's write a Python script using computer vision or a library, a Python library using computer vision to detect every time I take a sip of my coffee, I will get a notification on my computer. And the goal is to, well, hopefully slow down my addiction. Hi friends, okay, we are doing this though. We are building a Python script using computer vision that will use computer vision to detect every time we are taking a sip of coffee. Send us a notification and this will hopefully slow us down from drinking our coffee so fast. So I don't need to have endless amounts of cups of coffee. I can have one and just pace myself. All right, let's get into it. All right, before we get started, I wanna share with you some notes as to how this Python script actually works. Because for me, when I started getting into more of some of these packages, I needed to really understand the tech behind the script or how things are actually working, if that makes sense. So I have some notes here, I'm gonna put it up on screen and I just wanna walk you through first how this script, the intention of it is to work. And it's super simple thanks to some of these packages, uh, especially, you know, CV2 which I used actually in a different video of mine, which I'll link down below. It was a simple face detection app. It was my first time kind of dabbling with computer vision and it was so fun. Hence why we are doing something with coffee because coffee is, well, co coffee's life. Okay, here is the script or what the script is about. So first off, the script will initialize the video capture object to capture frames from the default camera, which is of course index zero. Then each iteration of this loop, so as it is looping through the video, it will read a frame from the video stream and convert it to grayscale. And just once again, to be very clear, this video is of you or me, whoever is building this. What will happen is when you run this script, it will pop up, uh, it will access your webcam, pop up a screen where you can then see yourself, of course, and then the computer vision will put a blue box around your face. And this is what we are referring to when we are talking about the video. So then it will detect the faces in grayscale frame and use a classifier. It will then apply thresholding to the mouth ROI to convert it to a binary image where white pixels represent the open mouth. And actually, as a side note, this is something I had a bit of challenge or this is where it got a little tricky for me. And I'll dive into it more when we go through the code, but everyone opens their mouth differently when they drink coffee and different with, it got weird. Anyways, we'll go through that later. Then what it will do is it will count the number of white pixels in the thresholded mouth ROI. If the number of white pixels exceeds the threshold, which in this example, I started with it set to 5,000 and it wouldn't recognize me taking sips of coffee. So I had to up it to 10,000, which I'll share with you in a second here. Stay with me, I promise you. The code will make it make very much sense and it's literally under like 40 lines of code. I have spaces in my code, so it's crazy. Then what will happen is if the number of pixels is below the threshold, it will remain uh, is drinking to false, like you are not drinking. And if it's above, true. And then of course it will draw that blue rectangle, but that's because we're making it. It can be any color or anything. All right, you get, a, I hope you got a little sense of it anyways, um, but let's really dive into the code. Give me a sec here to share my screen. All right, you can see here, we are importing a few things to start with. One is Pygame, another is NumPy, and the other one is CV2. CV2 is part of OpenCV, which is a computer vision, I believe it's a computer vision module for Python. Give me a sec here, let me double check that. Now it's, I should know this. I've used it only once before though, and uh, let's see. A library of Python bindings designed to solve computer vision problems. Perfect, okay, and it's really fun. There are so many different things if you search up what you can do with OpenCV for different projects, it's kind of endless. And that's why when I was thinking, I knew I wanted to build something again with it because it was so fun. I was like, yeah, we are doing coffee. So first, once you have imported some of these uh, different uh, libraries and CVs case modules, why I'm using Pygame is because I am on a Mac and I wanted to have, give this, when I ran this script, every time it would detect me drinking coffee, it would notify me, so I would hear a ping. And if you are um, not on a Mac, there is a different package that you can use as well to get that sound. As you can see here, I have a sound. This sound, I literally just Googled on the internet, downloaded it, and then I put into my project here. 
So then every time it detects that I am drinking coffee, I will get a ping. And this is because as the script is running in the background while I am working, I'm not gonna be watching it for the text to come up and being like, you drank coffee. I wanna hear it. I wanna hear that ping. Oh, this makes me feel like, you know the Microsoft sound where it's like, do, 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 do. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna sing it. Anyways, brings back memories. Let's carry on. All right, so you can see here we have, we're introducing Face Cascade, and this is really starting to utilize CV2. And then this as well is our classifier that we will be using. Now we can scroll down here as well, and we are setting is drinking to start off with to false, because when we start running, this doesn't need to immediately think we are drinking something. Now, if true, here is where it gets very interesting. I want, to, so I want to also reference or preface this portion here. I am, not, I am not a computer vision whiz, so I got AI to help me with it and really understand what it is doing, which I'll share with you in a second here. So what is really going on here? So first of all, ROI stands for region of interest. And I know I put it up on screen earlier when I was sharing with you more so as to how this script really functions, but just to be clear, your mouth's region of interest. This video feels so weird talking about your mouth the whole time, but I mean, it's how we drink coffee. So let me explain to you what exactly is going on here. Actually, let me take a step back. Let AI help me explain to you what exactly is going on here because this was a little over my head, but it's super interesting. And once you hear it, you realize how simple this is. So I encourage you when you're building different projects or tinkering, you know, obviously, use your own brain, I hope that goes without saying, build your own projects, push yourself, but then if there are parts that are stopping you simply because you can't figure out how to solve it, you don't have a mentor at the moment, or it's just a small thing, go ahead and use AI, it's not going anywhere. All developers, all software engineers, everyone is using it in some capacity if you are someone who's looking to stay ahead. I mean, even if you're working professionally as a developer or you're not a developer, you're just tinkering, it's totally fine to lean on and I think in some cases it's good because then it might stop you or block, unblock you from stopping on working on really interesting projects. All right, now that I did my tiff spiel, let's get into it. So you can see here, mouth ROI, what that is doing, it is saying, is it will extract the region of interest, ROI, around the mouth. So it's just taking, doing some math. What's that mean where it's like math? I don't know. Math coming out of your brain to find your mouth. Then you are applying thresholding to the mouth area. So that's just right here. Um, and then you're counting the number of white pixels in the threshold of the mouth ROI. So that is this. So you can see here, mouth, mouth, why can't I say mouth, mouth threshold? Is that a tongue twister? Mouth threshold. And same with white pixels. So it's pretty straightforward actually in that part. Now if we scroll down a little bit here, this is where I had some trouble. If white pixels is greater than, at the time I had it to 5,000. And I did that because when I was reading about it, it seems pretty standard. Uh, to identify the number of pixels around your mouth thresh threshold, I guess. Um, I don't know why threshold is such a hard word for me. Now, in my case, it wasn't really working, so I was tinkering around with it, and I ended up at 10,000. Then we are doing a simple statement that if not is drinking, and you can remember we said is drinking to false, so if it is true, then print out drinking coffee is detected, which is pretty simple. And that is where we will play this sound that I have uh, up here we declared, which is the notification. I tried to find one that's not too annoying. I'll see if I can play it for you right now. It's kind of annoying, but maybe it's a good thing so I don't drink less coffee. All right, and then otherwise drinking is false. Then this is where we are declaring um, a simple rectangle. This is super straightforward actually. There's a ton of different documentation on it. Uh, you know, if you wanna make a rectangle, square, whatever the case may be, you can set the height, the width, and then also to, of course, the color, which I did kind of typical blue for computer vision. This was super fun and super easy. Should we run it? I think we should run it. Let's run it. I mean, maybe you've seen a bit of it at the beginning of the video, but let's still run it. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. Okay, let's see. Run Python, Python in terminal. Then you will see a pop-up will open up. Coffee detected. Oh no, they're detecting Jack's face. One sec here. Okay, oh, 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 wait. There we go, no Jack's face. Let's try again. Come on! It was working so good there before. Come on! 
<laughs> okay, no one said it was perfect, but you can get the hint. It's pretty cool. Oh, detect it again, detect it again. Where's the audio? Come on. Ready? We ended on a good note. Anyways, it's pretty cool. I, it's still a little bit buggy, let's be honest here, but it's a really good start to making one of your first or maybe of many different comp We gotta stop this. We gotta stop this now. <laughs> ah, obviously, it's because it's detecting if my mouth is open or closed. It is not detecting a coffee cup, but that I think would be the next step to this. I just wanted to tinker around, make something really interesting with computer vision, and I really hope you enjoyed it. All right, I think we did um, a day's work here. Now only one cup of coffee, for real, is required. Ugh, I miss my coffee already. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed building this project. There is so much from it that you can really take and expand upon, especially when you think of different ways. You know, we did one where it will notify you via sound every time you drink a cup of coffee, but think of it as if you want to expand it to give you a notification on your desktop, or there's, it's endless. But I wanted to start you off with this really strong foundation using Python, using computer vision, and hopefully spark some creativity in you. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, leave in the comments what video you want to see next. I will pin uh, the top four videos I was thinking of, so vote there. And I will see you all soon. Thanks, everyone.